Services Business and Economy Network. You are watching a program. Those of you watching us in Faraway Abuja, Port Harcourt, Ilori, Sokoto, Kano, Kaduna, Asaba, Enugu, Imo. Those of you watching us in Bauchi, Ibadan, Akure, wherever you are watching your program, those of you watching us via the online and those of you outside the shores of Nigeria, I want to say thank you so very much. This is your program, it is a program. It is Business and Economy Network. On behalf of the production crowd, I want to say thank you so very much for allowing us into your homes and offices. My name still remains Peter Moche. Indeed, in continuation with our ongoing report that is happening right now in Nigeria, we are looking at more in the built industry in Nigeria. And we have areas of indigenous companies that are doing very, very well, that can compete, I repeat, that can compete favorably with other international firms. This is what Business and Economy Network is all about. We bring in companies and firms who started as a small and medium scale enterprises, and again, they have involved to educate enlighten us and let us know some of the challenges they have gone through and how they have evolved over the years and now they are very very thick this is what the program is this is what the program is all about and this is what we stand for and i want to say thank you so very much for all of you who have called in and those of you who have written in the program is a loaded bumper package because we have various companies that are doing very well the likes of dan tata the like of el maso and atele we have even borders and associates to name them, the lists are endless. But it's going to be an interesting watch. I'll be back after this timeout. Be inspired, believe in yourself, and hear what the CEOs have to say. Tata Sawo Construction Company Nigeria Limited started as a joint venture 38 years ago between Land and Sea Nigeria Limited and Sana and Werner Construction Company in Germany. Still existing though, the structure has over the years changed as the firm is now a 100% Nigerian owned company with its professionalism in terms of work and operation still maintained to match with any international recognized construction companies anywhere in the world. The firm is strategically positioned into infrastructural business like roads, bridges, city infrastructures, to mention a few, even water line, power line, highways, construction of industrial, commercial, and residential structures. Then Tata and Sao Construction Company started about 38 years ago as a joint venture between Land and Sea, Nigeria Limited, and Sawa and Wana Construction Company in Germany. It was a merger uh, that I say made in heaven because it still exists uh, till today. Although the structure has changed over the years, we are now a 100% uh, Nigerian-owned company. Uh, but we maintain the professionalism in terms of our work and in terms of our operations that can match any internationally recognized uh, construction company. Mm -hmm. We are mainly into the infrastructure business uh, in terms of roads, uh, bridges, uh, city infrastructures like some of the districts in Abuja. We do the water lines, the power lines, uh, we do the sewer lines, including the treatment plants. Uh, we also do uh, the highways and bigger bridges. Uh, we do also industrial uh, constructions. We do residential and commercial constructions. More or less a little bit of here and there, but our core area is the infrastructure. Yes. The unique selling point of the firm lies in the quality and speed of its job handled, which are cost effective. Be it federal government, state government, or private job, the Dantata Sawo brand always take a critical look at the objective of the project given to them and advise accordingly for the best way to achieve it. This has over the period earned the company repeated patronage 
on the part of his prominent clients. Our main selling point uh, in Nantata and Sao is the quality of the job we do. The quality and the speed of the job we do. Our jobs are not expensive. We look at uh, the nature of the client, whether it's a federal government, state government, or a private company. Uh, we look at the objective of the project, and we advise on the best way to achieve it. We don't always try to do things that are not necessary. So if you need a 100-meter bridge, we are not going to convince you to do 120 meters. Mm. We'll do 100 meters and we'll do it right. And uh, I think these are the kind of things that makes us, uh, makes our clients uh, repeatedly uh, patronize us for over the years. Tansawo Construction Company and General Limited has in conjunction with other contractors and consultants like El Masor Atele handled various projects including the Dangote Obajana Cement Airport in Kogi, also the Duse Airport as well as other roads in Duse which are of good quality enough to match with other capitals in Nigeria. Um, like you namely mentioned, uh, let me take them uh, one by one. Uh, the first airport, uh, the Dangote Obajana Cement uh, Airport or Airstrip in uh, Kwegi State. Uh, the client, Dangote Group, uh, wanted to have the airstrip because of the, uh, their nature of uh, business. You know, they have their executives and uh, also sometimes uh, when they have to fix something, uh, they don't want to wait to truck it or otherwise they'll just fly in. Uh, next to the airport, uh, next to the factory, uh, to be able to uh, be there on time and out on time. Uh, we were doing the uh, bypass road for the factory, uh, as well as some of the infrastructure outside the factory when the client approached us uh, about the airstrip. Uh, we made a simple design uh, that is practical, that will work for their need, and uh, up to today, I think even the President, uh, His Excellency Dr. Goodlock Jonathan, whenever he's having uh, a state visit in Kogi or the neighboring areas, he uses uh, the uh, airstrip. So we are very proud uh, of it that uh, since the time we built it, it's still uh, functioning uh, without any problem. We have not uh, had any cause to go back for any uh, repairs. Uh, up to the defects uh, liability period, so uh, we are happy about that. The Duse Airport is very interesting because uh, this the, there we have uh, an airport uh, which can handle uh, up to a 747 because the state government is interested that uh, their pilgrims are able to travel directly from uh, Duse uh, and as well it can function as uh, a second uh, runway or a supporting runway for the Kano uh, airport. Uh, you know, some people say, why will there be airport in Duse while there's already in Kano? But uh, if you look at uh, the number of airports in Europe and the uh, US, there are more or less major airports very close to each other. So it's something that uh, the governor has a big dream, you know, a big vision. Uh, we have done a lot of roads in uh, Duse. Uh, it's looking as good as any other uh, capital city uh, in Nigeria. Uh, so we have done the airport uh, in less than a year. Uh, from the day we started work, less than a year, flights were landing. Uh, at the Duse uh, airport. This was only done with the support of the uh, governor himself and the entire uh, staff of uh, the Jigawa state government and as well uh, the consultant, uh, Ail Mansur, uh, on the project, as well our project team uh, on ground in uh, Duse. Uh, they work together uh, endlessly whenever there is an issue is being handled, decisions are being made uh, timely, 
Uh, the governor has done as much as possible to make uh, payments when due. So we had no excuse uh, like in some other places to say uh, the project is delayed uh, also. Um, we do have, we encountered some uh, challenges in terms of the soil conditions mm -hmm. and so on. But uh, we are able to sit down with the consultant, propose solutions and uh, decisions were made. So we are very proud of it. We are doing now the finishing works at the Duse International Airport. The state government uh, has well built uh, a terminal building. I think the federal government is going to support them with uh, an additional terminal mm -hmm. building for cargo. Uh, so in the near future, uh, you will fly into Duse <laughs> on uh, our runway, and as well you can drive around Duse uh, on our roads. I think it will be uh, an interesting thing. Uh, I am an engineer ambassador from Udoipong, FNSC, as a fellow of the Nigerian Society of Engineers. I was born some 49 years ago uh, to the family of uh, Mr. and Mrs. Ime Udoipong, a book, book of blessed memory in Udianem, Udianem village, a Timepo local government area of Akwaibom State. I'm an associate member of Nigerian Institute of Management. Uh, a holder of national award for leadership in engineering professions, a national award for outstanding vision and commitment to excellence in service to humanity, a hallmark legend award of entrepreneurship, an international excellent leadership merit award, an icon of excellent award, and the prestigious uh, United Nations Ambassador for Peace. I want to mention but a few. I'm a, a graduate of uh, uh, civil engineering technology, the Federal University of Technology, Wary, 1988. <laughs> I think it will be a funny statement to say that the, the indigenous uh, engineers lack project managerial skill. Uh, any person that will uh, we want to uphold that statement, we want to tell me in person and engineering as a profession where the managerial skill is sold, which, which market it is sold and how much it is. If the person cannot tell us where the project managerial skill is sold and how much is sold, then it should be silence and silence forever because engineering practice is learning by doing just as i've told you if you are not challenged just as i've told you earlier i was brought a mosque of 32 meters diameter that was a project i never did before never ever i'm sure i i, I think as i did i've, I've not a, 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 ever entered what is called mosque in my life but I could come out of it and say the project is standing. Do as I tell you, I don't know how it is. That was a challenge. If you are not challenged, how can you know the skill in you? How can, how can the skill, the talent in you be harnessed? 